was that some people uh, don't find it easy, uh, like I say it is, it's easy to make up your mind what you want to do. And you say, well, some people have their parents to look after and they can't make ends meet, so they've got to get a job that's a shitty job and they don't like it. And they want uh, a better life, they want a better work-life balance and, uh, and it's not fair. And, they, and, and, and you go, well, people will say, well, it's all right for you because you've got the money. You go, but I didn't have the money and I had to accept, and you have to accept what is. So if, you, if you're doing a job that you don't like and you want another one, but you can't get another one, don't beat yourself up about it. Accept what you've got and then say, this is the best I've got at the moment, so I'm going to love it. Because if you have got a horrible job, but you can't get another one, and you accept it, and you embrace yourself into that job, you may love it. Actually, you may find things in that job that you never ever thought of before. You So, and if you do the best that you can do in that job because today you've got it. I used to say, I, I've got this horrible job today, but I'm going to make it the best day I've ever had. And the day goes quicker and I get more interested in it because I can do it because I know tomorrow I'm not going to do that job again. Or next week I won't do that job. I've got to get it in my mind and in my soul that I'm going to do the best I can possibly do because why keep beating yourself up? So you may love it, but in that process, you get a better job because your attitude is better. And if you have a stinking thinking, you know, it was, it's bad for your attitude. So everything I say is in between your two ears. Your life is in between your two ears. It's in your brain, it's how you think. So if you, if you say to somebody, well, you don't like your job and you don't like your life, uh, have you got a goal? Nine times out of 10, well, 99 times out of 100, they go, oh, I haven't got a goal, but I just don't like what I, I just don't like what it is. Well, get a goal, write it down. Where are you now? Where do you want to be? So you've got your goal, you know where you, you are, and, and how do you get there? You know, because it's no good moaning all the time, and that's what people do. They moan, 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 I hate this job, I hate this job, I hate my work-life balance. Well, I say it's easy, you say it's not as easy as I make out it to be, but it is, it is easy because it's all in your mind. Because if you can't do anything about it today, accept what you've got and be grateful for what you've got. And then you can build going from one to another. And you may, not, you may not want to do it in the future because you may adapt yourself to the job that you've got, find good things in it and realise that that was the job you were looking for. So I heard a story about this person who hated their job. They just hated it and they was going to leave. So they was going to give their notice in that day and they thought, well, I'm going to show them because I hate everybody there. So they got in early and they took some cakes and they'd made cakes and they took the cakes and they made everybody a cup of tea. And people come in and go, yeah, I'm leaving today, but I've made you a cup of tea or some coffee and there's some cake I made. And they go, oh, that's very kind of you. That's lovely. Do you know, this is the best cake I've ever had. And uh, what? how nice to have a cup of tea made when you come in. And the person says, at the end of the day, well, actually, I really enjoyed today. There were some lovely people. that I didn't realise there was lovely people. You know, and I've worked in this place for two, two three years and I've hated I've hated the job, I've hated the people, and this is my best day I've ever had. I don't think I'll leave. It's all in the mind. So, but I hope that's answered your question. <laughs>